So I've been asked before to make a uh, screen flow video on how to record and edit and export using the program by the Baconator 88. He's continually asked me to make this video and I thought why not? So here we go guys, let's find out how to edit and record using one of the most well known and most used programs, ScreenFlow for the Mac. Here we go. So to kick things off, how to start a recording you may be asking. It's really, really simple. So what you can do is you can go up the top on your toolbar up here and click a new recording and that will do it there. Otherwise, if you have it pinned in your toolbar, you can just right click it and you can go new recording. Otherwise, if it's not there, you can also go into your launch pad and you can double click on ScreenFlow, the application right here. Nice and easy, uh, because I'm already recording with the program as we speak, I, I can't actually show you the little toolbar or the little setup button that comes up once you've clicked new recording, but I'll have a screenshot on the screen right now. That is what you'll want to have checked uh, on that little menu. You can see that you can click face cam if you want to do face cam. You can also uh, choose whether you want to have the volume from your computer playing. So if you want music or anything, you can tick that button. I highly suggest you do. And then also tick your microphone and highlight what one you want to use. So I'm using the Blue Yeti as we speak. So that is why I have the Blue Yeti selected. Otherwise, you can use your built-in microphone, Snowball, whatever you use, IET 2020 up to you and that's all done and click record the little red button right there on that screen you will see now i click that and you'll be ready to go you'll already be recording so once you've done that you'll be left with a little video which will pop up on the screen looking like this now if you've obviously done a full size recording you'll be left with these little bars up the top on your window so how to remove these you may be asking you want to head over to your cropping section on the side here and because this bar is on the right hand side you just want to increase this until it chops that sidebar all off together and up the top you also have that bar so you just want to highlight that and then just to maximize the screen back to full size which is like that now that there is taking away all your bars so it looks like you don't have all these windows open okay so audio is next now this can become a little bit different for everybody um i've messed around with this for a little bit myself uh but this is what i use you can see if it uses if it works for you if it doesn't then i'm sorry but basically what you want to do is you want to click your, your your stereo microphone or whatever microphone you're using down here you want to click it so it goes yellow and then you want to come up here to your sound section and you want to click the smooth volume which will basically just smooth your volumes out all your levels so you don't have so many high pitch um noises every now and again see so if you look at the actual i'll zoom in for you now uh if you actually look at the blue yeti audio line and once it's off and when it's on so yeah you can definitely see the difference and you also want to put mix input to mono not really sure what that does i just click it and it seems to do me wonders uh then you want to go into your effect here and what i use is i use small room and i use it by 10 percent so that goes right there and to remove all that background noise, I will most of it anyway, it's about like 80 to 90% that it removes. You just want to click uh, remove background noise and adjust the amount to 100. So that will get rid of that right there. Uh, so once we click here, we'll just play it for a little bit. This is just a little test clip. Uh, as you can see though in the audio lengths, uh, these volumes seem to be quite high. So we're going to play it just to see how high it is. We might have to adjust the volume and that sort of stuff. So let's give it a whirl. It's just looking really, really nice. I'm really happy with how it's coming along. And okay, so as you can see in this bottom hand corner when I play it, I'll play it again. Uh, the audio lengths go red up here and it's going past the recommended volume. I'll play it again. And hopefully you guys too. But yeah. Let's just stop the reminiscing and 
So there you go. Uh, so most of these parts here are all actually lowered. So those volumes there are great, but it's the peaks like about here, 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 and here. They're really, really high. So overall, I've been pretty much having my mic next to my mouth. That's why it looks like this. Uh, so you can easily adjust it without having to re-record if you just go up to your audio section again. And you just want to lower it about 90, saving that. And then you want to look at your audio waves again. And if they're still pretty high, you just lower it down again. So let's say 80. 80 looks pretty good just because it's not too high above the bars, but they're all pretty semi-along lined. Um, but that's basically, you can also add those audio effects to uh, the other person's um voice if you're in a skype call you can do those same settings as i did here i probably don't recommend it though unless the other person has a really bad mic just because if you have like say you're playing in minecraft as you um actually are recording it uh then that audio those audio um adjustments will actually like into like they'll change the minecraft volume noises as well as the person's voice just so you know because if you're in a skype call and you're playing music or whatever and you're recording that will all be on this track there's no way of separating skype audio to game volume or anything like that it all goes on the same one uh but if you ever need to actually like um detach your audio from like your video you can just do that and then you have like you know the the video file which i can take out and you'll still have the audio there but um that's pretty much what i do anyway um and then you can just of course drag and drop other files in to your liking if you have an intro or anything like that so i just drag and dropped an intro i uh, literally drag and dropped you don't have to import or anything like that just like get your find a window literally find the file and just drag and drop it's that simple uh so once you do that just make sure that like this once you click on it say here you want to make sure it's scaled to the full size and my intros are normally pretty loud so i put it at about 40 so it's actually bearable and then i just basically put it wherever i want so if i want it at the front i'll just move it back and put that one right there uh, I don't really do many complicated things like if you want to add more audio just literally drag and drop it in and do the same processes as it says uh, but you can add like text and that sort of stuff uh, that I don't really use um, but it's all pretty straightforward if you want to mess around with it you've got like your color saturation as well in case you need to boost up like the brightness or something if you're like mining in a cave and you need to make it brighter that sort of thing you can do that you can move your saturation you can have video filters as well so if you want like if you want black and white or fade or whatever then you can easily do that as well like that's fade there's all the different things and if you don't want it you just press the cross so we add another one like there's a ton and a ton of things and you know you just gotta mess around with it if you want a picture over the top like you want black bars or whatever just drag it on top of your background if that makes any sense and then you have a picture over the top uh but it's pretty simple if you want to actually find out my exporting set settings then you can click on the link in the description below i actually have a video explaining my 720p um export settings or rendering settings for you guys to use if you would like them and I will also link down below a ScreenFlow thumbnail tutorial. It's pretty out of date, uh, but if you're still just getting into the YouTube thing, then you know you can easily use it. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, it helped. Baconator88. Sorry that I didn't get around to making this video for quite a while, uh, but hopefully it helped you. And yeah, guys, if you want any other tutorials, let me know. I can probably always do them. So yeah. Have a good day guys, see you later, love yous, bye. Would you be the preacher? Would you be my yeah. Mr. Dun, dun, dun. I still got a lot of shit to learn, I'll admit it.